Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 24 and in this video we're going to do a click to expand animation example. <laughs> okay then class, so I want to show you one more animation example that we can do using jQuery's inbuilt animation methods. Now, we're going to use the slide toggle method in this tutorial and we're going to focus on these three li tags right here. Now, if we look in the code you can see each of these three li tags in the points of sale ID have an image, which is this thing at the top, a h3, and then a p tag, which is this text down here. Now, what I want to do is hide these p tags initially, okay, so they're not there, and then when you click on one of these li tags, it expands that p tag and shows it. It slides down to show it, yeah? Now, what we need to do first of all is hide those by default. So what we're going to do is jump into this style.css file and we're going to grab our points of sale ID and then it's the li tags we want within that and then the p tags within those and we're going to say display none and I'll save that and I'll refresh over here. Now you can see they don't show by default. Alright so let's jump back to the index file, zoom that over and we're going to make our function down here. First thing I want to do is create a variable and this is going to be called items and within this variable I'm going to store all the different li tags okay so I'm going to set that equal to jQuery and then it's the points of sale li tags okay so that's going to grab all of those li tags and store them in that jQuery array okay then now I want to set up a click event to each one of these li tags so all I need to do is say items dot on click and then specify a function which will fire when one of these li tags is clicked. All right. Now then, this right here, this on click is binding the click event, remember, to each one of these li tags. Not just one of them, but each one because remember this variable items right here is an array of all of those jQuery objects of the li tags. Okay. So it's binding that click event to each one. Now what we want to happen when each one of those is clicked is to either show this p tag or hide this p tag, depending on whether it's showing or not already. So what we need to do is say this and wrap it in the jQuery wrapper because whatever we click on at the time is gonna to refer to this and we wanna wrap it in that jQuery wrapper so that we have access to those jQuery um, methods. And then what we want to say is find, and we want to find the p tag within the li, okay? Because this, when we click it, currently refers to whichever li tag that we click. Now we want to find this p tag and do some animation on that. So we say dot find, then p, okay? So we're grabbing that p tag. Then we want to say slide toggle and specify the amount of time it's going to take, 500 milliseconds, I'll say. And then that should do it, guys. So I've saved that now. If I refresh over here and click on one of these, you can see it slides down that p tag. If I click again, it slides back up. And that's that slide toggle method in action. All right. So I can do it with each one of these. Pretty cool, yeah? All right, guys. So that is the slide toggle in action, a practical example of when we'd use this. If you have any questions about it whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And I'll see you in the very next tutorial.